Marine debris has become one of the most widespread pollution problems facing the world's oceans and waterways. Improper disposal and accidents, as well as natural disasters, pollute the oceans with one billion pounds of trash every year. Even remote and uninhabited areas are affected by human debris, carried for years by ocean currents and jeopardizing ecosystems along the way. And while it has long been a plague on the surface, a team of NOAA scientists led by Mary Yoklovich are now finding its impact goes much deeper. The research vessel Valero launches the Delta, a two-person submersible. With the release of the cable, the battery-powered submersible is now on its own. Roger, 25 meters. Logging over 600 dives and more than 1,000 hours underwater, the scientists descend once more to the dark, cold ocean seabed. We're on the bottom depth is 300, 300 meters. Uh, we're on a sediment slope, outcrops, cobble boulders. Now in a world reminiscent to outer space, the aquanauts must navigate along transects, identifying and counting all the organisms and their habitat. Seabestomus was 15. Many of these areas never have been visited before by humans, and yet we're seeing, even at these deep depths, signs of human debris. 20 centimeters in length. Inside that piece of garbage, there's a rockfish I didn't see. What... Some of this marine debris is seemingly harmless. For instance, a teapot sitting on soft sediment or the kitchen sink. We don't know what happens to a lot of this debris. Some of what we see underwater is clearly habitat now. We have a cow cod here in a 50-gallon drum. But in other cases, animals are dying. This lost prawn cage is a death trap to any creature caught inside. And this snag net continues to kill sea life as it lays abandoned at the bottom of the ocean. You see all those box crabs? They look like they're entangled. Those, those animals are all dying, going to die. Uh, that net is still fishy. We have items down there that have been down there accumulating on the sea floor for many, many years, and they've now become virtually habitat for other organisms. We've seen large artillery shells on the bottom of the sea floor, and you don't really know if they're live or not. So when you think about removing those items, first of all, it's not easy. Second of all, it may do more harm than good to take all of that debris out, the nets, the traps, whatever, and the organisms that are associated with them that are now living on those items. Simulator, tin, that's a beet can. The most dangerous debris are the plastics that, that float or, or semi-float and then break up into small pieces. And you wind up with turtles eating them, you wind up with larval fish eating them, you line, wind up with birds eating them. I mean, that's truly hazardous, and I'm sure that that causes untold damage to marine life. Roger, end of transect, depth is 215. Roger, you're clear to The Delta returns to the surface after a two-hour exploration. Once on board the Valero, the video is digitized and all data logged for further analysis. This is the first year that we've been looking at our information on marine debris in a quantitative way. One of the things that we found is that the density of marine debris is much higher closer to a fishing port and then declines as you move away from the fishing port. Other kinds of debris are household items, lots and lots of household items, but the household items actually are largely in Southern California, interestingly, and not so many in Central California. And I think that's probably because of the shipping industry and the recreational boating industry. Not so much fishing, but just people out on the water in Southern California. Our next step in this program is to start to compare the persistence of the debris, the changes in types of debris, transformations of the debris uh, over the last 15 years. For these researchers, ongoing exploration of deep ocean habitats will one day be able to reveal the impact deep sea marine debris has on the environment. Deep water ecosystems are extremely fragile, and it's all of our jobs, it's up to all of us to take care of them. 
Marine debris is not an act of nature. It's caused by humans. And anything that's caused by humans can be ended by humans. This is uh, merely a matter of will. For more information on how you can protect the oceans, visit the following website.